guys, Dr. Dex here. Today we are installing benches and creating and building them as well. Um, right now I'm in the middle of configuring some, we're over a 20 foot length. So I'm trying to configure out where my seams are gonna go on this end of the bench. And we're starting to frame up for our next set. Andy's under the deck installing uh, this one bench, getting the uh, legs locked down. And then after that we have one more J bench to build down below on the lower patio area. But that's what it's all about today is just getting these benches built and in place. Um, we have some funky angles and stuff that we're putting on this one. So I'm trying to partially build it and then cut in some stuff as we go. Hey, if um, you like what you see or you're learning something while you're visiting Dr. Deck's site, please click that subscribe button and uh, hit the bell icon if you want to be notified of future updates. <laughs> What's up, Kelvin? Uh, I just got done getting underneath the deck, and what we do is we come up from the bottom with the uh, four inch uh, timber locks from Fasten Master, and then we just go right up through the center of the post into the four by four. We pre drill, and then we just cinch the bench down so that it is part of the deck and not going anywhere. All right, so when we're building our benches and we need to elevate the bench, we use four x four pressure treated posts. But if you put a four x four pressure treated post right on the deck, it's gonna get full of water and eventually this is gonna rot prematurely. So what we do is we take a piece of Azac, cut it three and a half inches, add a couple stainless steel screws to the bottom, and now we can set this in water and it's not gonna absorb up into the bottom of the post. And then we put a little bit of G-tape on the top because when you have lumber sitting straight up, the end cut is straight up, moisture is gonna sit in here and it's gonna absorb in here and it's gonna decay. When lumber is sitting this way and moisture hits it, it's not gonna absorb so much into this member. So whenever we have loose end grains or flat blocking or anywhere where water can absorb, we always put waterproof membrane tape on it. So this is actually gonna be facing up on this particular bench. And then we put this on the bottom just so that we don't have water soaking up like a sponge into all these post bases and then they rot. And then your finished look is over there. So you don't ever see any of this stuff anyway. So it's just all preventative maintenance that we do so that the client doesn't have to worry about it until she's dead. The question of the day is, what kind of wood is this? Leave your answer in the comments. We can start running, building the frame. We're gonna build this frame for this bench like we built the frame for this step. Okay. Okay. All right, so originally I was gonna do a stagger step on this bench to kind of match the lower uh, detail we did on the deck, but um, my inside board ended up being too short as well, and I don't have any more material for that. So instead what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a deck board and lay it down the middle of where the miter would normally go so there would be a seam, and then these boards will butt into it, and these boards will butt into it, and then that'll be a nice clean look for the corners. So that's my resolution to uh, how I was gonna build the bench. So it's a little bit of a change, but it still kind of goes with our whole uh, butt joint method versus a miter. So I'm happy with that. What are you doing? I am creating a return for the bench that gets us back to the stairs. And I'm kind of winging it. I'm making a plate of, to mount both sides of the bench together with, plus be able to put our accent board in and have a place for it to attach as well. This will go below the deck boards.
Hey guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, tomorrow we're gonna button up these benches and just keep on building benches until we get this job finished up. Uh, appreciate you watching. If you like what you saw, please click the subscribe button. And if you wanna be notified every time we put out fresh content, hit that bell icon as well. Thank you very much, have a great day. Back to work.